And just like that, I'm out of firewood again. So it's a brisk Sunday morning. There's a nice skiff of frost on the ground, so we're not gonna tear anything up along the woods. So I think it's a good time to run over to my father-in-law's. He's gonna help me out today, and we're gonna use a little mechanical advantage. So come check it out. Cool. Stick dry DIY. <laughs> So if you're new to the channel, my in-laws live in the center of this beautiful wooded property and it's only a couple miles from our house. And for the past two years since building their home, my father-in-law Rick has been working to clean up all of the dead ash trees and fallen timber that was strung out all over the floor of the woods. And it just made it all look really messy. So he's done a great job in cleaning that up. He's got about a quarter of it done so far and as he works up the dead and down trees, he hauls them out to the edge of the woods with his dump truck and stacks them up there as you've seen earlier. This has been a great source of quote, on-demand firewood for me because in the early fall, I've never got enough wood stockpiled. And in late winter, early spring, I'm often running out of wood and always trying to cut that last load that will get me through another week until I'm done with the fire for the season. So it's super nice to have a place close to home with convenient wood to cut and someone that is willing to help. And as you may have noticed in the beginning of this video, we have a large outdoor wood boiler and we heat our house, garage, and my shop with it. And I can put some pretty good sized pieces of firewood in there, but you'll see that Rick is picking through the logs and he's just holding up the ones that are small enough that won't need split. So this becomes a really good way to sort through them because he'll set the big logs off to the side and we'll come back and deal with those using a splitter later on. This is about the easiest way of cutting logs into firewood that we've come up with. It, it really minimizes the amount of bending and lifting that I have to do, and it's the least amount of handling really because as I stack them up in the trailer, they won't get touched again until they go right into the stove. And I love doing it this way because as long as we don't need that trailer for anything else, it is super efficient to just have it parked right in front of the stove. Well, other than when I can't quite reach those last few pieces in the middle of the floor. But this trailer, when stacked up fairly high, will hold just over a cord of wood if I figured it correctly, but throughout this winter season so far, I've been burning about one cord every two weeks. And I think what you're watching here is the fifth or sixth time that I've filled this trailer since I started the fire on September 30th. In the coldest part of the winter, which is usually February, I can burn nearly a cord of firewood a week, and especially if it's really windy. So this method for loading the trailer works out great for me as long as Rick is willing to help. But I'm curious as to what other people might say about the potential danger of working around the mini excavator like this. And I wonder about it sometimes, but then I think about the danger of that chainsaw in my hand too, and I realize that there are just some calculated risks associated with almost all facets of cutting firewood. And fortunately, I really trust Rick in the excavator, and he's gotten very good at feeding me the logs at a nice pace so that I, I don't even have to move around in that trailer much. And I guess having spent the last 25 years working around heavy equipment, I've just, I've become accustomed to it. And, and really, I don't, I don't think anything of it, but 
What are your thoughts? If, if you have or had a mini excavator like this, would you be worried about it or would you do the same thing? Let me know in the comments if you do something similar to this and think it's pretty clever or if you just think it's all too risky. You know, as I'm watching this back though, I'm thinking to myself that I could at least be wearing a hard hat to keep me from hitting my head on the boom or the stick. And that would probably be a smart thing for someone to say right off the bat. And oh, by the way, those are chainsaw protection pants that I'm wearing to hopefully keep my legs from getting cut. I, and I must admit, I spent a good number of years running a saw and not wearing any protective chaps or pants other than Carhartt bibs, which provide zero protection against the chainsaw. And the only thing they're good for is keeping you warm. And luckily for me, my other brother-in-law, Caleb, he's a professional arborist and tree climber, and he provided this pair for me to wear that, that he wasn't using at the time. It's funny how as you get older, you think more about the ways that you should try to protect and preserve yourself, you know? I wish I could tell the 20-year-old version of me some of this stuff. Like, you know, don't lift that or wear those safety glasses or put in those earplugs. But you know how that stuff goes when you're young. So I made a video a while back that talked about my love and hate relationship with firewood. And, well, not to spoil that video, but the reason I love cutting wood is because I usually get to hang out with family or friends while I'm doing it. And in today's case, it was my father-in-law and my brother-in-law. This was also a perfect excuse to spend a nice Sunday morning over at my in-laws. And it just so happens that we will be getting done with this load of wood right at about lunchtime. Which is pretty convenient if you ask me, because my mother-in-law makes some fantastic potato soup. And since Karen and the girls have found their way over here as well, we'll all get together and have some soup and hot chocolate on the porch together afterwards. Oh, and the girls brought their Christmas presents to the woods for their first training session. So stick around until the end to see what that's all about. But I will say, it ends up being kind of a proud dad moment for me. You can cut a little more. Load her up good. Awesome. What a good stopping point. Okay. Thanks for your help, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Hey. This is my father-in-law, Rick. My brother-in-law, Ethan. Making his first appearance in the videos. <laughs> we got another load now to last the week. Hopefully, now that it's getting cold, it takes a takes a little more wood per week. But there's a critter in the woods. Hi, Daddy. Hey, baby. How's it going? Good. Hey, I like it. Hi, Grandpa. Dead. They don't stick too bad, they come off easy, but you know what, those are going to fall.
Well, that was a terrific way to spend a sunny morning and afternoon. Got a load of firewood cut, had some homemade potato soup and some hot chocolate. Just a perfect day. Now I think it's time for a nap and then we'll see what the afternoon brings. But thanks so much for checking out the video. I'm glad you're here and uh, hopefully we'll see you the next time. So take care.